Ian White and Michael Smith both through to the semi-finals, but having to survive match darts. Michael Smith had to survive two from Terry Jenkins. Ian White had to survive one from Stephen Bunting. Dave Chisnell, he was the favourite for the tournament after Michael Van Gerwen's exit. Knocked out by Kim Hybrex, looking for his second win on the European Tour. Kim Hybrex, the Belgian, awaits the winner of this one. Now, different kinds of pressures they're going to have to deal with, these two. Benito van der Pass, after that stunning win against the world number one, Michael van Gerwen, bringing an end to his 21-game winning streak on the European Tour in 2015. How is he going to respond after pulling off a massive victory? And how is Justin Pipe going to deal with potentially within touching distance of making a second consecutive final on the European Tour. Dan Dawson in the commentary box for this one and alongside me Rod Harrington. Well we've just uh, had three unbelievable quarterfinals Dan. This one won't be as quick but it could be the quality the same. I mean Justin, like Justin to like I said first. had a great run in Ven Ray and from there he's got to be full of confidence and of course on the other side of that Van der Pass has just beaten the world number one, as you've just mentioned. So his confidence has got to be flying pretty high as well. The one thing with Van der Pass is he doesn't play against Justin too Easy often fall. and have that slowness to, to put up with. Yeah, they've met three times in the past. Benito won in September. But Justin won the other two times they've met. They're all last year. Every single one of them went 6-5. So if that's an indication of what we're going to get, we're going to have another close quarter final. Benito, of course, did beat Michael Van Gogh on the European Tour in Gibraltar. 140. And just when you thought that that momentum might carry him on to some stunning run to the final, it was James Wade who did for him. 134. Another seasoned campaigner. Justin Pipe will be hoping to emulate Wadey and put a stop to Benito's little run here in Risa. Made the final in Venray a couple of weeks ago, as I mentioned, Justin Pipe, and that was built on basically crushing the hopes of a couple of young players. I think Nathan Aspinall beat Josh Payne along the way. He never really hit top gear, it's fair to say, in that weekend. I mean, he didn't average above 93 the whole weekend, but he got, got over the winning line, and that's... That's the only thing that matters. It is. You know, sometimes we use the, the phrase win and ugly, but it's still a win. And he still got to the final, earned himself, what, £10,000? Yep. Well, that goes on the rankings, which is really handy for Justin at the moment. 140. Benito, you 149. And he's left himself on double 18 after 12 darts. Benito has to take out a massive one. It's not going to happen. 45. So Justin, Justin Pike for a hold of throw and a very respectable 13 dart leg to start this quarter final. Now this is a dodgy dart. He doesn't want to split it. He's got to find the double with this one and he hasn't done. Now if he misses, he doesn't want to, he can't split this. Well, no score. in actual fact, if he's going to miss, he's done the right thing and put it on the outside. Because what do we say about them nines? Mm. The dreaded nines, I mean. But Van der Pass now, four of those leaves him double top. Unusual way of going. Wayne Mardell always went that way. Justin, you require and, uh, 36. You don't see many players go to 4.16's double top route. Have another go at this double 18 then, Justin. Ooh, that's a long way inside. Even Justin acknowledges that. Double nine. 18. I have only seen Please Michael Van Gogh, that was last night, on the switch hit the double nine. I think it must be a lot smaller than all the, all the other doubles. Must be it. It's got it. That, I think that's what it is. Tops. For Van der Pass. Gets it. 1 0. Break a throw. Second leg, Benito to throw first. Game on. Kim Hybrex, the Belgian Premier League star, awaits the winner of this one in the semi finals. Benito kicks off 140.
100. I've got to say, we talked about with Mike about the standard and that. And, you know, although we haven't got the world number one, the world champion, we haven't got the legend Phil Taylor, five times world champion, Barnevelt, Lewis, a double world champion. But the standard has been unbelievable again, hasn't oh, it? Let's be honest, those first three quarter finals this evening, we've not needed them. I mean, Michael Van Hoo, I mean, Ian White's just averaged 105, hit. 75% of his doubles, he still had to survive a match dart. I mean, it's an unreal games of darts. And Michael yet, Smith had to survive two from Terry Jenkins. He did, and yet in the, in the 90s when we formed Easy the company, form. all through the 90s, if all the top names went out, everybody was panicking. Now, it isn't. The, the, the strength and quality and depth is... Well, it means we've, we might have a job for a few more years. That's what it means. Wow. And sitting on our backsides talking about it, He's nearly as good as playing. Well, perhaps not. I wouldn't know, Rob. And I can't remember. (laughs) (laughs) Benito van der Pas should come back and get a dart at double top. Justin Pipe will probably be looking at the 170 maybe to set this up. Hell Simon is setting in. I will be in a home soon. I'll keep trying to get you in one. Oh, the 180. We saw Michael Smith do that in the deciding leg against Terry Jenkins just to try and fire the crowd up and make Terry miss. He did in the end. Benito doesn't. That is a very, very impressive little checkout. It certainly is. And and I do like that. Michael Smith did it and it worked. Mm. You know, get a little bit of noise. Get them standing up. You know, you know, your opponent's gone. Blimey, he's just hit a 180. And uh, you know, it probably works more times than it doesn't. I did speak to Michael about it. He said, I asked him, is that why you did it? And he said, yeah, you know, they're, they're not going to make as much noise for a 170, even though it's probably a better shot. Yes. Uh, technically. Not going to make as much noise for a 170 as a 180. Nobody's got a 170 card out there. But Terry, wanting 76, first start, bang in the treble 20. Thought, oh, it doesn't matter anyway, he's going to do this. But he didn't. And that means that Michael Smith's hopes of winning a second European Tour event are still alive. He's got to get past Ian White, though, who, let's be honest is playing some phenomenal darts. Yes, that was, that was an incredible game with um, Stephen Bunting. And 97. I know, I know losing it hurts, but sometimes when you walk away and at the cold late of day, I'll say in the morning, you look at the match and you go, do you know what? If I can carry on playing 100. like that, I'm not going to lose many. You know, he's Stephen very Bunting, upbeat, actually. Terry just Jenkins. Spo- yeah. yeah. I've just spoken to Stephen. He's very upbeat. I mean, he's as upbeat as a man who's going to spend the next 31 hours travelling to go to Japan for the... World Series event out there. Do you know the thing about that? That he actually is going to spend the 31 hours. A lot of players are not. 42. And a lot of players want to. He just wants to. He just wants to play darts. He doesn't matter where it is. St. Helens, Risa, Japan. 95. Stephen Bunting in Yokohama. St. Helens sumo. <laughs> he may go down very well out there. Nobody wants to see Stephen Bunting in a big nappy throwing rice around the place. I have to say, he's a super guy. He's always got a big smile on his face. I'll tell you, you're not going to find two happier and more jovial characters than Stephen Bunting and Ian White in the players' room. Both giving each other a pat on the back and big hug after that game. Played in the right spirit, certainly. Justin Pipe, he's under pressure on his throw again. If Benito were to win this leg, three nil with two breaks of throw. Oh, Justin Pike would be in serious trouble. One hundred. Just the time. A ton forty would have made a big difference. Yeah, one hundred and seventy. Not seen this this weekend. Not yet. Ooh. One hundred and thirty-four. Yeah, absolutely perfect. I was thinking maybe he'll go for the bullseye, but he picks off. The treble 18 to leave double 18. But Justin Pipe is going to get a dart. And I'm surprised when he's gone for the 26 route. Game shot. That's him. Oh, it's in. It was hidden Justin behind Pipe. the scoreboard there. We couldn't quite tell. Throwers. Very interesting. In his, uh, in his win he's earlier on, d- double 14. Uh, he left that a number of times. He, he wasn't that successful on it, if I'm honest. But he left it a number of times. But he's evidently quite confident because if you get the line right, you've got a bit of leeway with the, the weight of dart, if you like. 
Well, perhaps what it is, you know, if he stands there, perhaps his eyes are dead level with the double 13. 60. And the double 14. And he has been leaving double 18 a lot as well. It's not a million miles away. We're trying 100. to justify him leaving silly doubles. Wow, well, no. It's working. He's hit it, it doesn't matter. But Benito van der Pass does have the advantage of that early break in the opening leg, but just in pipe. Fighting Whoa. back with a 180. <laughs> One hundred. One hundred. Down to a finish, but Benito, a couple of trebles makes him favourite for this leg. Good looking first dart from him. Oh, yes. 139. Justin, you require 161. Well, again, I say it so many times, Dan. I like the 25 mm. there because Justin Pipe, if he doesn't take it out, he's certainly going to set it up. And Benito would have rather had two darts than one dart at a double. Agree, agree if he hits a treble 10, it doesn't matter. 97. Benito, you require 62. Which he's done. And that makes it 3 1 to Benito, Benito van der Pass. Van der Takes out the 62 in three darts. Justin to, throw to add to the finish of 56 and 80. It's a very tidy display of finishing so far from the 22 year old. 22A, beating the world number one for the second time on the European Tour. This lad has potential. confidence-wise, although they know each other very well. You know, when you step up there and you beat the world number one and a, and a guy that's hardly been beaten this year, you have got to be on cloud nine. You've got to be flying. And, and where it will count is on the checkouts. The scoring, it doesn't matter so much confidence, but it is on the checkouts. When 60. you're coming down to, to taking out a checkout, taking out a double under pressure, that's when the extra confidence will pay off. 100. And there you go. Three out of four on the checkouts for Benito van der Pass. A strong start. Just the one out of seven from Justin Pipe. String of missed darts early on. Allow Benito to get the first leg on the board against the throw. And it may prove to be a crucial point in the match. 60. 98 plays 91 in the averages. You average in the high 90s, round about that 100 mark, you're going to give yourself a chance. 96. Well, for the second time in the match, he's left 170, but Justin Pipe's going to have to hit the maximum to get anywhere near. Nice 140. good darts from Pipe, but and the pass gets six darts from 170. 58. No, oh, just a little glimmer of an opportunity for Justin Pipe. Justin Pipe, having seen off Max Hop in the previous round. <laughs> I did like his interview on stage afterwards where he said, Oh, thanks to the crowd, because I was expecting loads of booing 90. and whistling and jeering and everything. And no, you were really great. They were. It they were non stop. But he had his earplugs in. <laughs> <laughs> Must be good ones. Ooh, Easy. now then. That is a missed opportunity. For once, Benito van der Pass passes up the chance to close out that leg. Would have been a breaker throw as well. Justin Pipe. Well, he went for the 25 and he's hit the 17. Leaves 74. Uh, treble 14, you would think. Gets it. Fifty-nine. Now Benito Van der Pass. Missed one dart at it last time. 
Can't afford to miss these. And does it? It's 4 1 to Benito van der Pas. Benito van der Pas. Sixth leg, Benito to throw first. Game on. Now, Georgie Noble just given just a helping hand with his score in there. Couldn't see whether it was in the 17 or. 58. Or anywhere else. That is a tough job. The scoring, the chalking. You, you actually can't move. You can see from that angle there. If George Noble moved slightly or even swayed, it, Justin Pipe's right eye is going to pick it up and, and it will take his concentration mm. off. So they've got to stay dead still. 100. And he has been stood there for great long periods this weekend. A lot of 6 5 games. Particularly 66. for George Noble, it has to be said. Well, him and, him and Russ Bray have a little competition to, uh, and they have a couple of quid to see who's going to call the most legs. And actually, George Noble's called about 16 more legs than Russ has. So Russ has been laughing all the way to the sweet shop. <laughs> 100. Well, as I mentioned before, the young lad the other side there, you can see him on the chalker, he's learning Chinese and he's going to China to actually learn the dialect of certain parts of China. The only dialects I knew, I thought Dr. Rue had trouble with. <laughs> the old and the best. I'll be waiting to get that one out. Oh, it's, a, it's a cracker. Justin Pipe looking to fill it up here. 140. Just the ton 40, but it gets him to a finish. It's been a bit of a slack scoring leg for Benito van der Pass. Oh, that might be about a change. Oh, it's unlucky. I think it was just 20 on the floor there, but good recovery. Justin, you require 161. Well, Justin needs to start making a move because we're starting to get to the business end of this uh, this match. And he doesn't have to go with his bullseye, but he's going to go for it. Oh, he was not far away. Now, a maximum, even a ton 40, even a ton. Just make Justin think. 180. 140. That will do. That will do. Justin, now Justin, 25. having gone for the ball, he's only going to get two darts at a double. It's a double eight. Double four. Well, it's up in the area he likes, isn't it? Hmm. 21. And he only requires 72. And all of a sudden... Benito van der Pass, I think he'll look at the 16s. He does, another one of those. Oh, oh he's missed it. Oh, that. 32. Wow, wow, wow. And he rushed it a little bit. Just Cardinal sin four. from Benito van der Pass. I mean, to go 5 1 up. Yeah, it's a bit easier for Justin, isn't it, with the way his darts lie? Go Can't underneath. Miss it. Can't miss it. Yeah. The target has just become twice the size because the flight was always going to you know, lead the dart into the double two. And Benito in 72 so did to not get first. a dart for that Game leg. On. And it was a break of throw from Justin, so light at the end of the tunnel. And still got to win four of the next five legs. German crowd, or at least some of them, still singing Stephen Bunting's now. I believe he's left the left the arena. One hundred. I mean, it is nice if the players went out into the audience to sign a few autographs. But the, the realistic thing about it is, there'd be a queue a mile long. They'd have to sit there for a couple of hours, and you know that is tough. Yeah. 140. One hundred. Good response from Benito van der Pass. Stomping around the stage. Big Ben. Two semi-finals and the final to come tonight. The first semi-final sees Michael Smith and Ian White square off. Kim Hybrex awaits 16. the winner of this one in the other one. We're going to go straight into the semi-finals after this. There'll be a little bit of a break. 
ahead of the final. 58. Justin Pipe has won one of these before. He won the very first European Tour event in its current incarnation, the European Tour. Back in 2012, it was in Austria. 140. Benito van der Pass has not won one. But with darts oh, like that, he might give himself a chance. Justin, well, he's certainly 61. put the pressure on. He's asking the questions from Justin Pipe. Now, will he go 25 to give himself two darts at the double 18? And he's hit that 17 again. He did that last time. That leaves 44 this time. Double 16 for Justin Pipe. 29. Just outside. Benito, you require 70. Well, it was 72 last time, yeah. wasn't it? And he didn't have a dart at a double. I don't think he'll rush his second dart. Well, he ain't, he's got two darts at the double. And he, he finds it. He finds it. 5-2 Benito, Benito Van der Pass, Justin Pipe, on the brink of elimination. A flag Benito to throw first. Game on. All it comes down to is the odd dart at the double. And it went in for Benito van der Pass. 58. And on the wire from Justin Pipe. And now he's facing a quarter-final exit from this man. The big tall Dutchman. And averages nothing to write home about in today's game, but certainly a tough 60. match all round. Well, apart from that aberration on the 72 where he didn't get a a dart at it as you just see the number of darts he's taken nothing's gone more than six visits to the board so that's still pretty good 47 but apart from that he's been he's been really good at, at just seeing off those mid-range finishes as Benito you know he's had an 80 a 56 a 62 that's 70 that we've just seen they are the important ones Dan you know you don't get many 161 164 it is in between 81. 60 and 120 they are the crucial checkouts. It's your bread and butter, isn't it, as a dart player? You know, you know, if you're not taking those out, it means you're giving up a visit to the board. 80. And that lets your opponent in, and you'll lose the odd leg here and there, and that can be the difference in, in tight matches. Well, there we have it. Four out of five from 41 to 80. Yeah. That's where this game is being won and lost at the minute. Justin Pipe not out of it yet. But he's going to win. 100. Four legs on the bounce. 46. Just the 46. So Justin Pipe has stolen the darts. As the Marios and Luigi's look on from the crowd. 81. Ooh, yeah, he's a frustrated man, Justin Pipe, because he's not on a finish and Benito should get to one himself. Well, he might not. No, oh, he does. He does. Well, I, think, I think Justin was so frustrated because he, I think he was so confident he was going to hit a 140. That last dart looked destined for the treble 20. Well, he's, he's going to set this up beautifully. He, he certainly is. 139. Benito, you're 135. It's a big bet. 135. Looking at the bullseye. He's hit the 19, so it's not going to go. 45. Justin, Justin Pipe. 40. This would be for another break of throw, fourth consecutive one in this match. Aim shows in the A flag. It's not over Justin yet, Pipe. this. It is not over yet. Nine flag, Justin to throw first. Justin Game Pipe on. needs three more legs, and he has the throw in two of them. Well, he's always been renowned as a scrapper, has Justin Pipe, and uh, there's 16. plenty of life left in this match yet. 6-5, the opening one. That was Michael Smith, had to survive two darts from Terry Jenkins. 
6-5 in the other quarterfinal between Stephen Bunting and Ian White in that half of the draw. Ian White surviving a match start from Stephen Bunting. Dave Chisholm and Kim Hybrex. Well, and 6-4. So Hybrex is big Ben. Ooh, just a ton 40, but it keeps him level pegging with Justin Pipe in this one. Are we going to see another match go 10 or 11 legs? One hundred. One hundred, just a ton. Ninety-six. Well, who is going to take the three dart checkout out? Justin Pipe's going to get the first attempt. So will he go twenty for double fourteen? I kind of think he may do. Yes, double fourteen. To hang on to this match in double fourteen, he does. Justin Pipe. So Fleck Benito to throw first. Game on. This is the leg for Benito van der Pass. He has 100. the throw. Looking to close out a 6-4 victory. If Justin Pipe can break, he suddenly becomes favourite for this match. He's won the last two. He'll be taking some momentum into the decider. And you see there, very little between them in the averages. 131. A couple of 180s for Justin Pipe, but a couple more 131 plus scores from Benito van der Pass. 100. A 15 data for Benito may be enough. Well, these three darts will. We will see if the 15 is going to be enough, because if Justin does hit a treble, then 15 will be enough. But if he hits two, then he may have to look at 12. 45. Oh, now, wow. that's a let off for Benito. 19's coming to his rescue. 95. Uh, one big treble per visit means that Benito, if he does that again next time, he will be down to a finish just over 100 and may get a dart for the match in this leg. might not be a great deal of pressure there's some 100 Benito van der Pass can he hold his nerve he managed to do so against Michael van Gogh in the world number one Ooh, he's three. a little bit unlucky with that last dart very unlucky yes that's deflected into the treble one and just a bare 20 gives him such an advantage over that one two three so Justin, if it's a treble here, he's got to go 25. Well, he's got to stay there now. Well, he, no, he's got to go 25. 90. Benito, you require 120. Tough check out for both players. Treble 18. Doesn't get it. 55. Justin Pipe, this is huge. Justin, you require Can he take it out? Steps up to the hockey, looking at the bullseye. 25 means that he needs treble 20. He'd rather had this dart, and he's not hit the treble 20, but the dart at the it, bullseye, if that had been lying below it, yeah. then he would have felt more than confident that if the treble 20 had been found, he would have 65. found the bullseye. Benito, you require 68. Well, this is the area where we said that Benito has been playing really well. Can he deliver when it really counts? Double four. 64. Right when he needed it. Right when he needed it, it is deserted Justin, him. Two match 70. darts missed by Benito van der Pass, a double four. But Justin Pipe, can he take out the 70? He's going to get two darts himself to take it to a decider, to suddenly become favourite for this match, Justin Pipe. Now he's got to hit double four. 
66. And that might four. be that. He's had his chances as Justin Pipe. Can okay, Benito, so and he can. Benito van der Pas. Benito van der Pas into the semi-finals of a European Tour event for the first time, following up his victory against the world number one, Michael van Gerwen, with the defeat of Justin Pike, the number nine seed. And the 22-year-old Dutchman will square off with Belgium's Kim Heidrex for a place in the final of the International Darts Open here in Riesa in East Germany. It's an all-England affair in the opening semi-final, which we're going to get to in just a moment with Michael Smith and Ian White squaring off. But here is Benito van der Pas, who's into the last four. a very emotional game against Michael, which you won. And now, for the very first time in your career, you're in the semi-finals of a European Tour event. How does that feel? Awesome. It's, it was the first time that I played a quarter-final, and uh, I won it. And now I'm in the semis. I was practicing very well against my win against Michael. He had a nine-daughter in the practice room. And, but I, I keep fighting, keep fighting. And, yeah, just a missed his doubles and yeah, I took my chances and yeah, I'm really happy with the semi-final. And I guess no matter what happens in the semi-finals now, for you, coming to Risa it was definitely the right decision, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm really happy and uh, now uh, I'm in the semis, uh, we will see what happens. All right, wish you all the best for the semi-finals. Thank you very much. Vielen Dank, Benito van der Paas. Und das war das letzte Spiel des Viertelfinals. Das heißt, wir machen jetzt fünf Minuten Pause, bevor wir mit den Halbfinals anfangen. Nach